Good morning. My app are, are back. Here's the plan. Internal wall tie beam concreting. Perimeter walls being extended. And it's Saturday. So for the guys, payday. What could possibly go wrong? So, Saturday morning, slightly shortened workday today. Uh, they finish at four, but they will be working tomorrow, at least some of them. The builder has decided that uh, they want to keep this progress going while we're still not seeing any rain, any typhoons coming through. So they are coming back tomorrow, which is great news for the progress of the house. Not such great news for me, as I've got to come back and film everything. And maybe not such great news for you, because I would have thought that six days a week is already about six days a week too many. And it's now going to be keeping on going straight through. Um, anyway. Saturday, the plan, as I mentioned, is just get those inter interior tie beams concreted in and continue with the perimeter walls. So we'll see how today progresses. So, once again, engineer Raphael is getting his hands dirty, literally. Well, no, he's got gloves on, but you know what I mean. He seems determined today to be part of the work crew as well as being in the command area, uh, making sure all the design and engineering issues are taken care of. So maybe today we will follow engineer Raphael and see what his day looks like. He's the guy who, when I come approaching the desk by the bunkhouse, generally speaking, has an expression of fear on his face as he thinks, oh God, what am I going to have to explain to that dumbass this time? He's not always like that, though. In fact, he's lovely. So, we'll come back and see the engineer shortly. Right, it seems to be a delivery day today. This is the third truck. It's 20 past eight. This is the third truck that has come in this morning delivering sand. One pile here and two others elsewhere on the site. Let's see how much more comes in today. And here, in his more natural habitat, we find Engineerus Filipinous Raphael Bus. While comfortable roaming the construction site, this is where he probably feels most comfortable and remarkably has shed the grey plumage that is used for protection when out in the open. Here we see other colours coming through and these remarkably may change on a daily basis. It is here that most of the day is spent making notes, referring to drawings, doing calculations. He is a remarkable creature and we are fortunate to have this particular one who appears to have made this his temporary home. Right, sorry about that. So another first for this site. We have the forms being put around the columns on the exterior walls. Um, so the concrete will be poured for the columns in two parts. They will pour it up initially to where the height of the slab will be. So roughly 15 centimeters above the height of the concrete hollow blocks that you see now. And we'll stop there. Now I have seen on other builds the suggestion that columns, when you pour them, should be a single pour, a mono pour. I did just have a quick chat with the engineer. 
and he is very comfortable with the fact of having two paws so we go to this height and then later on they complete the column uh, the, the condition is that the top surface of the column when the second part is poured the top surface of the first part must be pretty clean so they will wash it off make sure there's no sand or grime or dirt sitting on top of the first part of the column so again building guys my request to you is comments please two pours on a column providing it's done in the way that the engineer is describing are we are we happy with that let me know thank you one more comment from the engineer is that the concrete pour for the columns will actually take place at the same time as the slab so it all bonds together properly and the columns at that time will be poured just a little bit higher than the slab and inside here we're getting a, a larger number of the interior tie beams have been concreted in I'd say we're probably a little over a third of the way through of getting those those beams in place and con well the beams are all in place but getting them concreted in we do have where is it oh over here we do have holes in the top of this beam nothing wrong with the building a bloody dog walking through it something will have to be done we'll set the security cows on them and here on the north side the perimeter wall now does extend or at least the tie beams extend just beyond the front of the house and the concrete hollow block another one two more sections to go before they get to that point as well and we have trenching dug out oh, this is the last the last part at the moment and then they're going to figure out what they do with the carport and lest we forget Ronwell beavering away still with rebar cutting shaping and when he's done enough of that for the day he goes off and helps elsewhere on the site so we still have quite a big amount sitting over here waiting to be shaped and cut as well as a lot of stirrups and if you can make it out in the corner there more of the whatever we're calling them footings footing mats cages the bits that go in the base so deliveries keep coming in more cement mix so so far today i've seen three trucks of sand one of gravel and now this slightly smaller truck with cement mix and i may have missed one or two along the way and the engineer also hey. deals with the administration for the deliveries a man of so many talents and over here on the south side we are back to three so coelito and two more over here buried down in the wall the work day moves towards a close and as we quietly approach Engineerus, Filipinous, Raphaelus. It appears as though his plumage has changed again. Well, it's hot, come on. They've got to have a chance to change shirts occasionally. Calculator still in hand. Still doing drawings, still calculating and working out all sorts of things. Busy. So this was the corner yesterday that was the last area to get the external wall tie beams filled in and we now have the concrete hollow blocks 
on that section. We've done all of this, including along this part. And I said yesterday that I wasn't sure where they were going to leave an access point for mechanical equipment that's going to help with the backfill, and it's obviously not here. It is over in that far corner. That's the only, just about the only space left that is not covered with concrete hollow block. I'll have a look in a moment and see how much of the tie beam area inside and the inside walls has now been concreted. I mentioned in a previous video that the columns were absolutely perpendicular. When I, when I had a look at one, it, it was exactly where it should be. This would appear to be an adjustment process. Here is how the adjustment works. They push it. And I guess then measure again. Old school. So in terms of the concrete going into the internal walls, I'm going to say I think we're just about halfway. Uh, basically they've gone from the north side and they've done all the beams on this side of the house, including the ones that are behind me. And I reckon, yeah, that's, that's about halfway. how many more days it will take to complete this but we're gonna well not many so again here on the north wall they've done quite a bit of backfill uh, of soil up against the wall and they've been doing that all the way down a little bit past where the concrete mixer is now and that wall does definitely extend to just beyond the, the front wall of the house. And here on the south side, I think we've got two new sections of wall. And each section is three meters. And then beyond that, they have more tie beam with concrete poured. And they are continuing to dig out ahead of themselves as they go. They dig out a little bit more, then lay a little bit more. And they've also, again on this side, some backfill. Along this wall, not, not every section has been backfilled. The ones at the far end, not yet, but mostly they've backfilled, except of course around where the columns will go, or are, but still need to be poured. That's it. The bell has just been struck. Four o'clock. Normally, end of the work week. But as we said earlier, this week is a little different. They will be back tomorrow. Again, it'll be a shortened day. They will do seven until three. But nevertheless, that will be going all the way through the week and obviously then start again on Monday. Right, so the engineer is heading out. We've caught a few moments of his day today. He's kind of the glue that holds it all together. And he's heading out. I believe he lives pretty locally, so shouldn't take him long to get home and start getting some rest before the next day, the seventh day in a row. And I think they're all coming back. And out he goes. I will share this with him before I post anything just to make sure he doesn't think I was being too stupid at his expense. Wasn't my intention if it came across that way. Um, so, back tomorrow morning. <laughs>